Hi, welcome to Spiritual Rebirth Tarot. This is Madeline, and I would like to um, thank you for coming to my channel. Uh, in this channel, we are finding hope and healing in our lives. And this uh, week of October 4th through 10th, 2020, we're looking at the zodiac sign of Libra. And I'm really excited to be giving this general reading for you. Uh, we are going to, please, if you uh, find that it resonates with you, like and subscribe and uh, share. And share with any of your friends you think this would resonate with as well. So uh, this is for Libra, Sun, Moon, uh, Rising, and all of the different uh, Libra placements in your zodiac. And also you may have been drawn to this because of the title. So let's take a look, and if at any point um, you find something that resonates with you, please comment. I would like to um, interact with you. I love to read the comments and see what you're talking about. So Libra, let's get started. We're going to start with the um, wild, wild animal, uh, wild unknown uh, spirit animal deck. And so I, I love this deck because it really... Um, Brings out a lot of great energies. The spread we're going to use today is uh, two cards, the path and the obstacle. And so we'll take a look at the path for the week of October 4th through 10th, 2020. And also the um, obstacle that we'll be facing during that time. Okay, so let's take a look. And then... Um, the path is the peacock, and the obstacle is the moth. I've been getting that a lot, a card. And underneath is the cheetah, which is the first thing I think of is a lot of uh, speed. So the underlying message, the one that is kind of coming from your subconscious uh, level is the uh, cheetah and it runs like the wind it doesn't run for a long time so it might be telling you you know during this week uh, be really careful that you don't lose your stamina um, you might be able to sprint but you may have a hard time with the endurance and so really give yourself the uh, rest that you need uh, during this week Okay, so uh, Libra, let's look first at the uh, peacock, the peacock card here. So the first thing that comes out to me are the, are the colors and the beautiful yellow in the top, and it kind of looks like sunflowers. And when we think of sunflowers, I like to think of <clears throat> something that's both nutritious and beautiful. And this, the yellow points to the solar plexus, which is um, just above the navel, underneath the diaphragm. And so um, that area um, is an area that's hard to strengthen. It's hard to keep ourselves upright. <laughs> you see me uh, try to sit up more and kind of uh, focus on that. And then it also has kind of a greenish blue, which is kind of combination of the uh, heart and throat chakra so we're looking at all of this um, area really uh, trying to bring up a sense of energy in those parts of our bodies at this time and uh, I really enjoy uh, working with the chakras talking about them and some, so if you can check out some of the other um, videos that we have on this channel uh, that talk about the uh, different chakras and do uh, tarot readings and stuff on those uh, blocking and unblocking and cleansing and those kind of things. And also on the uh, Patreon that we have, there are uh, different conversations on some of the illnesses and things that are associated with the different um, chakra. So as we're looking at quite a few here, kind of like um, all three here in the center this week, and um, the peacock in another one talks about letting your light shine and kind of also goes along with the uh, 
the beautiful you know yellow of the sunflower so the sunflower is shining brightly the peacock is shining and fun and very authentic and who he is and very beautiful and then all we can we can see all of of that uh, this week so really uh, bring forth your authenticity your beauty and then your power the uh, solar uh, plexus and bringing that sense of power and uh, it's kind of interesting because the obstacle is the moth and I'm noticing the similarity between the eyes um, up above the peacock and then the uh, eyes that are in the moth and so and then also kind of that coloration, that uh, green and yellow that's in the moth. The moth is headed toward the light. So the biggest lesson, the biggest obstacle that a moth, you know, would kind of warn you about is this um, kind of trying to hit the same thing over and over and over and over again um, in the week. So as this uh, week progresses, you know, make sure that you are not just focused on this uh, one thing to the exclusion of everything else that is around you. It kind of has the same feeling to me as the cheetah saying, you know, don't uh, spoil all of your energy in uh, one activity or in one direction. And so don't be so unifocused this week that you don't see the other things that are going on around you. And to kind of open your eyes, because there are a lot of eyes here. There's, um, the peacock has the eyes, kind of the eyes on the head thing, and there's the eyes in the moth. So really opening your eyes and to see clearly uh, what's going on around you. That light that's in the way of the moth could really be blinding for it. So it's kind of interesting because the the peacock is asking you to shine your light, to be the light, rather than to be the moth, which is the one going toward that light, or uh, being uh, distracted by the light. And so finding yourself so you're not in a state of distraction from who you really are and who you're really supposed to be and what you're really supposed to be doing this week. So Libra, this is a very important time for you because it's uh, part of your uh, birth time, you know, in the first part of October, the uh, September 23 to October 22. And so during that time frame, kind of the Libra month, this is a very important time for you to be being uh, balanced and to be seen clearly. And so we can see the balance here in the moth. And so really um, looking for that sense of balance, like we said, not overexerting yourself in one area too much and not uh, flying too much into distractions, but be really the self, yourself that needs to shine through and your authenticity that needs to shine through. So what I would like to do is pull a couple of uh, tarot cards to help us understand these um, better. So let's take a look at the peacock. Okay. Well, that one wanted to jump out is the uh, Two of Wands, the Trapper. This is the Native American deck. And I, I really enjoy enjoy this deck. Um, so many times, like the the meaning is kind of in the uh, the Native American aspect of the card. Okay, so for this one, it's the. The Two of Wands and the Eight of Wands. So we'll look at that in just a minute. Let's pull the cards for the uh, Moth. Okay, we have the uh, Three of Wands. We have a lot of fire here. So that can be a little difficult for an heir to have to deal with all that fire. We have the Sun, some more fire and death 
And this is one of my favorite uh, death cards. So let's look at the peacock uh, first, the trapper and smoke signals. Okay, so the trapper and the smoke signals. So as the trapper is moving along home, he has on his back his uh, catch of the day, uh, the food for the family uh, so everybody can eat. And then with with the uh and so um this week you know as you are these are kind of like two different um so okay so we were talking about you know your your path for this week to shine your authenticity to really be your true self and um, in this case you know he's gone out and he's done the things that he needed to do to be the person that he is to provide for his family um, to be that good hunter and also to have that balance, the, uh, two, the two card. And so you might look at, you know, kind of like that 11 or the number two, uh, which is this uh, trapper energy, the, 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 the wands, the, the two uh, wand energy. And so he's, you know, moving into this week. Uh, with you know, knowing that the earth is abundance and he's found the things that he needs for his family and he's being the, the person that he needs to be and bringing that sense of stability into his life. And then he also needs to be paying attention to the things around him as we were talking about. So you can't just be focused on the one thing in your life because in this case, the smoke signal, you know, he's going along, he just happens to see the smoke signal, uh, see the message and the meaning that's going on there. And so it's very, it's a very important thing for him to rush home, let them know that the enemy's coming or that uh, somebody is happy with him, is having this uh, wedding, you know, next week that we need to all go to. Whatever kinds of messages are coming out in this uh, smoke signal, it's important that he takes that and communicates that to everyone. And so part of communication is not to be all self-absorbed. He has to be uh, looking around and noticing that these signals are coming uh, off of the mountains in order to see it and realize, oh, I need to tell the others what's going on. So as he's walking home, you know, he's doing his daily life. He's struck by this opportunity to really communicate and share uh, with his whole community some things that are very important. So during this week, uh, during your path, you know, pay attention to what's around you because something that's around you will need to be uh, noticed and uh, shared with, with the group. And a lot of times those things are kind of like you know like beautiful accidents like just little little things like you see the same number a whole bunch of times and then you see it right at a certain time or you see the same animal a whole bunch of times or those kind of things will happen and you'll know oh this is something I need to pay attention to so the moth the thing that, that can potentially be in your way the uh, joint effort the sun and death so um, joint effort the the three of wands it has uh, two people in the boat and then the uh, animal kind of helping them along the, the way no they're they're probably catching that animal but I mean I think in this in this case it's very interesting because almost everything in this card is two there's two people you know on their boats the walrus has two horns there are two mountains in the background and yet it's the three card. And so maybe it's reminding you that two becomes three, but what's the, what's the third? It's the energy of the universe, the source of all life coming in and being a part of your efforts. And so it's a joint effort with those around you. So remember, like just like the moth could tend to, you know, head toward the uh, sun too much and not pay attention to the fact that it's getting burnt. And so the people around you are going to help you to steer and to go in the right direction this week. And so keep an eye on them. And the other thing that we can see with the with the death death card is. Um, how you know even when things are looking really bleak 
and we don't know exactly where to turn, uh, that as things are coming to an end, other things are starting to uh, come into into view and into life. And so as one thing dies, another thing um, comes to life. So this, for me, this card is one of the saddest cards. And we just see this, uh, the demise of the Indians and the demise of the buffalo and the uh, time of death um, inside the, the, the white man's uh, structure. You know, and to um, be kind of like enclosed and encapsulated. And so maybe at some times this week, you're going to have a real uh, sadness or downness. And remember during that time that you aren't alone, there are others there to um, help you on your journey. So we have um, a few cards here. We have the uh, Scorpio, uh, Leo, and... Um, and a whole and a whole bunch of fire signs. So let's look at uh, Scorpio and Leo, especially in the extended, and then also you know the the blocks and the fears and hopes and fears and advice uh, for us. And also pull a um, Abraham Hicks card as kind of like a, for that time. So let's uh, come on over to the extended, and we'll continue this reading. And uh, if you resonated with you, uh, please uh, subscribe, like, uh, share this video with others. Comment below on the things that do resonate, uh, how this may be affected here in this coming week. You know, always come back. and I, I love to uh, get messages from people to communicate and to help you in any way. Also, I do offer... Uh, private readings and other things like that. So take a look at the links below um, to go either to the extended or to other things. So come on over and let's continue the reading there. See ya.